Welcome to this video series about improvising by Sietse de Vries. You can support this video series by donating the amount of your choice to Sietse de Vries' Patreon account, which can be found by searching Sietse de Vries Patreon or by finding the link in the description below the video. Enjoy the video. So, in the last video, we talked about the 4x4 four four system. Having an interlude, a ritornello, that you can use in between the lines of a hymn tune that consists of four lines. And it has a very clear structure, and that's why you can easily remember it, and you can use it in many different ways. And it actually gives the piece a lot of character, but also it sounds like a composition, because you have this uh, good structure, it sounds really well and not like uh, an improvisation that doesn't have a clear meter or a clear theme. So let's elaborate a little bit on that and let's combine it with another idea that we did in a few videos before and that is to have the melody of a hymn in the pedals and not just uh, in a tenor or alto as we have done before but really in the bass. Which means you need the right chords, but you can find that in another video how we did that. And we can actually combine that with this 4x4 four four idea. And now we don't use the 6-8 meter like we did last time, but let's turn Psalm 93 again, but now into an uh, overture. So a very festive, impressive sound. And how do you make an overture? Well, the main idea is to have a dotted rhythm, so something like this. And actually, I still use a very simple idea. It was basically one, four, five, one. But I used the rhythm and again I used triads that I inverted. So it's still, in essence, it's something like this. But you noticed it, uh, you give it a lot of character when you have this dotted rhythm. And keep in mind when you use a dotted rhythm, like in an overture, you always uh, make the longer note a bit longer and the shorter note a bit shorter. So you don't want to have a rhythm that sounds something like this. It sounds pretty weak and almost turns into a 6-8 meter, but you want to make it really sharp. And again, you can make the comparison with speaking. If you really articulate well, then it sounds much more convincing than when you are just mumbling and it's not completely clear what you mean. That's exactly the same in music. So let's see if we can turn this into the same 4x4 four four system by having the first line, uh, what I just demonstrated. I do basically 1, 4, 5, 1. Then we do something similar, uh, but starting on the dominant key, so G major. Then we have four bars of sequences, and then we have another four bars of uh, a nice ending with a strong cadence at the end. And cadences are actually very important. If you want to have a structure in your piece, you need to have a cadence and then breathe and go to a next line. If it just goes on forever, it doesn't sound too well. And actually, uh, depending on how you count, you could call this uh, a 4x2 system, because in a 4x4 four, four meter this would be two bars all the time. But if you count it in um, a 2x4 meter, then you can actually have your 4x4 four four system. That's not important. Important is that the lines have the same length. So let's see if I can come up with a nice overture that sounds like this 4x4 four four system.
And again, you can feel now something needs to happen. Here the melody comes in, in a cantata, the choir would enter or a soloist would enter. And in this case, uh, we already talked about it, in the pedal we enter with the melody of Psalm 93. And that means, of course, that you have the chords that fit the pedal note, but now in a dotted rhythm. So the first line could sound something like this. <laughs> And then, like always, on the last note of the line, I can actually start again with the interlude. Important is, of course, that you have this rhythm at all times, also when you play the melody. And like we talked about in the last video, the voicing is really important here. That you don't have that dotted rhythm only in the soprano and the rest is just chords that are glued together. But you try to find the parallel things, like parallel thirds. <laughs> or the opposite, the parallel sixth. And the more you can make that happen in the whole piece, the better it sounds. Well, let's see if it works. So Psalm 93 with the dotted rhythm, an overture with the 4x4 system. 